All right, Kimbo White here. Just wanted to talk about a couple of uh, fights that are coming up and events. Uh, give a little breakdown of what's going on uh, because uh, there's been some talk about the UFC having three events a month this year. Uh, and what I did notice is uh, January 30th and April 17th are Strike Force's two big uh, cards that they've put together. Um, and uh, they're both, you know, star-studded stack cards. Uh, in that three-month period that those two cards are going to happen, uh, the UFC is going to hold six events. And not only are they going to hold six events in that time, uh, they're also going to be airing season 11 of TUF. So uh, they're just flooding the airways and flooding, you know, people with fights. Uh, and it's just awesome that these two companies are going to try to outdo each other this year because we're going to see some awesome shit by the end of the year. Uh, you know, the Strike Force Miami on the 30th of this month is Diaz versus Aramskis. Uh, Cyborg defends against Marla Sonnen. A really crazy fight that's been announced is Robbie Lawler and Melvin Manhoff. Uh, Bobby Lashley's uh, opponent hasn't been announced. And then uh, Herschel Walker goes in fighting the guy, gets a guy named Greg Nagy who uh, I really need to look up you know, uh, some things on and see, uh, you know, uh, when I make my predictions for that event, I don't even know if I'll do one for that fight. Probably won't. Well, probably just watch that fight. Uh, uh, and then on April 17th, Fedor is fighting uh, Verdum. Uh, Shields. Obviously, he's defending his belt against Dan Henderson, who recently signed with Strike Force. And uh, Musashi is going to fight on that same card, and his opponent is yet to be announced. So that is a huge, huge card. But uh, in that time frame, we have UFC 109. UFC 109 is, is horrible. Um, the only two fights that are, that are that even have any effect on anything that's going on right now uh, is uh, you know Nate Marquardt and uh, Chael Sonnen is an interesting matchup. Okay, I'll give that. Uh, and it all, it it, it, it uh, you know has some effect on what's going on uh, there at uh, at uh, one eighty five. But Swick and Tiago, Swick and Paulo Tiago is on the card too. But other than that, the main event is Coleman and Couture, which everybody knows is pretty much bunk. Uh, they're they're billing it as the only the, they're on the first fight with two active Hall of Famers. Okay, that I did tell you. Who gives a shit? And. Uh, that even worse is Matt Serra and Frank Trigg on the fucking card and there's better fights on the prelim cards than those two fights uh, which is crazy uh, then UFC 110 is when it really starts getting getting wild Big Nub and Cain Blast was going to draw huge numbers uh, I think we're going to see an old man get beat down pretty good in that one and uh, Dan is really counting on that one to really draw some numbers uh, for him in February. Uh, 109 and 110 are both in February. Those those are the two in February. Uh, then the two in March we have our uh, UFC's debut on Versus, which is something I'm really waiting for. John Jones versus Brandon Vera. And uh, they just announced Junior Dos Santos will fight Gabriel Gonzaga. And uh, we all know that that's his last stepping stone to be in the top five of the heavyweight division. If he can beat Gonzaga, uh, you know, he's there, man. He's there. He's right there with the top four or five guys. He's next right in line for a title shot probably. Uh, um, since those two fights are so close together, the winners of those two, I'd say, will obviously fight each other. And then the winner of that will fight the winner of Mir and, and uh, Carwin, which is going to be for an interim belt. Uh, it's highly rumored that Brock Lesnar will return. Probably won't fight till later in the year, next year, though. And there's going to be a press conference that's coming Tuesday or Wednesday. 
in Vegas. Brock will be there, and uh, uh, they're going to let us know exactly what's happening. But just the fact they've announced that the mayor car will fight is, is officially for interim belt tells me that that Brock will be back, but it will be a while. And uh, I don't think Frank's going to want to be his first fight back. Cause I don't think he's going to want any excuses when he fights him. So that's going to be interesting. Um, um, then March 27th is the other uh, fights in March. And this card is off the hook. Uh, GSP defends against Dan Hardy. You know, which is huge, huge, huge. On the same card as the car will be mirror for the interim belt. And uh, like I said, this coming Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll know exactly what's up with Brock. Alves versus Fish is uh, almost official. Almeida versus Brown. Uh, Ricardo Almeida and Matt Brown, not for the casual fan, but for us hardcore fans. Uh, it was an awesome, awesome fight. And... Uh, you know that that's going to be really interesting to see. I just I just want to watch that fight because uh, you know I I like both guys. They're both tough as nails. And Matt Brown, I, I really like Matt Brown uh, ever since season of TUF. So and then uh, Mark Bocek and Jim Miller too on the same card. So you got you know you got five legitimate uh, you know co main event and main event fights on that card right there. Uh, so UFC 111 is huge, huge, huge. One of the biggest events of the year. Um, and then at UFC 112, we can stop wondering about it and start talking about it. Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort. Uh, DJ Penn versus Frankie Edgar. And Matt Hughes versus Kenzo, uh, supposedly undefeated in however many fights Grace. Uh, and a lot of people think Vitor will be the one to get Anderson's title. And, you know, I think Frankie's got the best shot at anybody at 155 right now in the UFC uh, to get BJ's. I think that was an awesome decision by Dana. Uh, and then one, you know, let's hope uh, Pua can finish Machida at 113 this time. Because I don't want to see any more bullshit decisions like that last time. He, you know, that's all I'm going to say about it. And uh, hopefully we put these UFC judges through a little bit of MMA classes or something before we put them out there and judge a fucking, uh, you know, title fight. It's about 100 grand riding on the fucking line, you know, in a guy's whole career. Uh, and then we got Cote versus Belcher, which is pretty crazy. And, uh, Cote's coming back on the same card. Who is getting his second chance? Because... You know, go take him back from the injury. We're going to see how he's healed. And, you know, obviously they're throwing an easier one at him first. But uh, he has done the best in the UFC against Anderson Silva besides uh, Dan Henderson. And Cote did, did better till he got hurt. Uh, took him past the second round, only person that's done it. So, um, you know. There's a lot of big fights coming up, uh, mainly, uh, you know, Nolan and Cain Velasquez, Jones and Brandon Vera, JDS and, and Gonzaga, uh, you know, uh, Fedor and Verdun, and Shields and Henderson, Machida Hua too, and, you know, Anderson Silva and Belfort, BJ Penn and Frankie Edgar, uh, you know, what more, Fitch and Alves rematch, Carlin versus Mir for the fucking interim title. Uh, you know, uh, Nate Diaz defending against somebody fucking young and tough that might be able to whip his ass for once. Uh, fuck, man. You know, and Robbie Lawler is going to get knocked out by Melvin Manhoff. No fucking doubt, man. It's going to be great. What more could an MMA fan ask for this year? Uh, and this is only taking us up till <coughs> April. <coughs> uh, I think March, maybe. UFC 113. Uh, no, it's in April. This is all up till April, so uh, you know, just want to get some some opinions on that and, and uh, let everybody know exactly what's going on with some of those fights. That's been the last word with Kimbo White.